So the next news is a Ugandan imam is facing life in prison after he accidentally married a man. And the headline says, proving just how homophobic this East African country is. A Ugandan imam is facing life imprisonment after he accidentally married a man. Sheikh Mohammed Mutumba exchanged vows with his bride, in quotes, Swabhamala Nabukira. Sorry if I've butchered this. In an Islamic ceremony, he met Nabukira at a mosque and only ever saw them wearing a hijab or a gumse, which is a traditional Ugandan floor length dress. Nabukira was actually a cis man named Richard Tumbashe, who had duped Mutumba in a bid to get his money. Tumbashe was charged with an unnatural offense, that's the name of the crime, impersonation, theft, and obtaining goods by false pretenses. The person that the, lad- the, per- the person yes, that got- the, 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 the bride. bride. The bride, okay. Or they were referring to him. The police were referring to him as the man bride. Okay. Um, the and the obtaining goods by false pretenses refers that latter charge refers to the dowry, which was two goats, two bags of sugar, three dresses, a carton of salt, and a Quran. Although Muntumba committed no crime himself, that's the imam he married he had actually and he had actually sought counsel over his wife's refusal to consummate the marriage he has been taken into court and charged with having carnal knowledge with a person against the order of nature and this particular charge can carry a potential penalty of life in prison wait i don't understand so even if you're like a homophobic country which uganda is one of the worst right Mm -hmm. uganda is one of the worst but he, the cry, like the people, the judges, and everybody knows that this guy. So he married somebody that was a man, b- mm-hmm. who was actually a woman, and the the bread. So was he? He not, married someone he thought was a woman who was actually a man. Yeah, but and he, and he's not gay, right? The the person that married him was just trying to get his money, right? That's what it's believed, and right. actually, the person who married him. The man bride, which was how he was being referred to by the police, has actually um, duped a a bunch of other men, a number of other men, Hmm. maybe not to the point of marriage, but he's um, tricked them into believing he was a woman and they'd fallen in love with him. And then later, she would steal the money because of the hijab, hijab Hmm. and made the conservative clothes. You know, and they're probably not having any kind of premarital relations. Right. So apparently the police commander in in that district had said that this person had actually done something similar. But with regard to the imam, another imam at the mosque said that he had to dismiss him and have him charged to protect the integrity of the faith. That was that guy. But that doesn't make any. Okay, well, none of this makes any sense, of course. Right, exactly. But 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 it this makes even less sense because you're like like even in Islam with all the nonsense. Oh wait, this is not this. Okay, even in Islam. Well, they're supposed to. Hold on, let me let me let me let me me say something. Let me say because the guy didn't know that this is so. Mm -hmm. Even if you want to look past their homophobia and how ridiculous it is for somebody to be charged for having sex with another man um this guy didn't know like it was un- unintentional like like it, it, yeah. are they that stupid like how is there just how like do they not think like why are we punishing somebody that did something that he didn't know wh- that was doing are they just like out of their minds like is that how i don't want to use like the r word but well that- they said you know this other head imam of all the imams was doing it to protect the integrity and then i also was reading some african news Hmm. like ugandan street which is this uh segment of african news and some activists gay uh activists and uh lgbt activists said that they didn't believe that this imam actually knew 
they thought it was some sort of what they would call like lavender relationship, like a cover. But then other people were saying, no, he was genuinely tricked. And I'm thinking maybe that's the case as well, because apparently he went to counseling about the fact that his wife, who we, we fake wife, you know, was um, refusing to consummate the marriage. Yes. And he said that she wouldn't take off her clothes in front of him. So it sounds like he honestly thought she was a woman and he was seeking advice as to how to deal yeah. with the situation. Yeah, that's proof. That's proof that he thought after the marriage, even after the marriage, he thought this, this is a woman. So, like, what right. else could you need? Like, what's the point of jailing this guy? I don't understand. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. I mean, it's, well, it's good to see that Uganda being embarrassed for, I mean, honestly, man. I mean, I... I this imam, by the way, he himself would probably support somebody going to jail for having... I'm just guessing, by the way, because he's an imam. That he would probably... Right. If, in any other case, if somebody went to jail for having gay sex, he would be like, yeah, that's, that's good. You should, you should go to good jail. But, so, I don't know if... I don't have any sympathy for this guy. But it's just so bizarre. Like, it it's is so bizarre. backward. Like, Uganda, like, is fitting in the stereotype that it is like uganda is like one of those s-hole places that it is actually like yeah you, you fit this is what you expect from uganda like what the hell and you know what's interesting too is i was also looking at some more african news sites and some of them were making fun of the guy and like mocking him you know ha 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 you married a man I mean, all these very unkind things so on both sides of it, you know, and then saying terrible things about the bride as well. And, you know, the previous uh, anti-gay law that they had in 2014, you know, had like a death by hanging for what they called offenses against nature. So, I mean, yeah, the whole society is really... All right, so, very homophobic. So the top comment is by Ian. He's saying, "Geez, almost happened to me last week in Thailand. Was off to get uh, to get married to a stunning lady I had just met. Went to the church, and she pulls in. She does a perfect parallel park, and I was like, hang on a effing second.'" <laughs> <laughs> So the per the perfect parallel part gave it away. Uh, <laughs> no, maybe you asked her where she wanted to go to dinner, and she told you an actual place. Jay <laughs> <laughs> uh, is saying, to be fair, I intentionally intentionally married a man, and it still didn't work out. Some you win, some you lose. And Eric is saying, God works in mysterious ways. Um, <laughs> Joanne is saying, is that a copy of the Quran in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Oh, um, that's funny. Uh, Shopam is saying, nothing about this news really makes sense. Uganda is bizarre with stupid laws. Yeah, actually, I really want to go to Uganda, but I'm scared. So I'm not going to go. Well, you know what's really interesting? That there's a film hmm. all about Uganda, about how it was uh, a lot of these very virulent anti-gay and homophobic uh, ideas were kind of imported to some degree by Christian um, evangelicals. Right. I'm trying to think of what the name of the film is, but it's a whole film about this and these dominionists who oh. brought a lot of this and the guy who wrote a book called scott lively right. he was the one that a lot of this is um what's the name of the movie i might watch it oh i'm trying i want to watch it i gotta remember now i can't find it as it's soon fine. as i remember i'll shout it out no don't shout it out because we're going to be in the middle of the next news and it's well really i mean yeah, yeah. Okay. but um all right we have yeah. to we have to move on we have to so move we got to move on yeah. uh if I oh godless Uganda godless, God loves you God, God loves Uganda Wow you're so you're so <laughs> you're so atheist uh, because you, you you read God loves and you 
said God. I read it as Godless. God yes. God loves Uganda. <laughs> Such an atheist. Yeah. All right, okay. Let's Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.